No Yoruba commentator, expert so far has provided concrete evidence or credible story on Ododua. Some that attempted to provide Ododua's history found out that due to the ancient myth, no tangible information was documented of its existence. According to some Yoruba traditionalists, Ododua was more than just the founder of Ileife. They believe he was responsible for the creation of Heth. Odudua was a Yoruba divine king. He was the holder of the title of the Oni of Ife, the Yoruba Holy City. He was not only the first ruler of Ileife, but also the ancestor of Yoruba numerous kings. He is regarded as a hero, warrior, leader and father of the Yoruba land. There are several myths associated with the existence of Odudua. Let's take a look at them one after the other. It is said that Olodumare, the god of sky, gave Obatala, the god of whiteness, a chain, a bit of sand in a small white shell, a palm fruit and a five-toed chicken. He told him to go down and create the head. Having approached the gates of heaven, Obatala saw other gods celebrating, dancing, eating, drinking, rejoicing. They were so happy that they would descend on earth. Obatala eventually joined them. He drank a lot of palm wine, being his favorite drink, which he claimed would give him necessary strength to carry out his task. Obatala drank all he could till he was intoxicated and slept off. His younger brother Odudua was present when their father Olodumare gave instruction. Odudua saw his brother Obatala sleeping and snoring deeply. In order to accomplish their father's instruction, Odudua quickly took the materials of creation, a chain, a little sand in small whitey shell, a palm fruit and a five-toed chicken. He went to the edge of heaven, accompanied by a chameleon, to create the world. With the help of the chain, he descended on earth. He created the world by emptying the sand on the sea because the earth was flooded. It was a formless wasteland as it was recorded in the Bible. Odudua then placed the chicken on top of the sand. When the chicken began to scratch, the sound was scattering all over and wherever the sound fell, the water gave way and the land appeared. That was the traditional history. Let's take a look at the oral history of Odudua. According to the oral history, Odudua's father, Lamurudu, came from the east. Source cannot reveal whether he came from Arabia, present-day southern Sudan, Benin, Egypt, or Ethiopia, but they do agree that he was an important prince in his land. When his position as a pagan was threatened by the arrival of Islam, Lamurudu decided to take his family to a new land. However, he was not able to fulfill his journey, which was why Odudua stepped up. Ife tradition tells a complete different story of how Odudua rose to greatness. According to Ife history, Odudua that day entered Ileife with a crown and a walking staff that has symbols of five-toed hen at the top and the base. The crown that Odudua wore had stripes covering his face. The name of the crown is called Adiari. This particular crown called Adiari cannot be found anywhere else except Ileife. The crown serves as a traditional legacy from one reigning king to another, and this particular sacred array crown was the inheritance of the only from Odudua. This crown cannot be found anywhere else but in Ileife. All other reigning kings in Yoruban land have their distinctive crowns assigned for social functions, but none of them possesses the power of the array crown. Ari crown can only be used by Oni of Ileife during a larger festival and this festival is done once in a year in Ileife. After the Honey of Ileife has worn the crown on his head, no one dares looking at his face. His eyes will be transformed into that of a tiger. It will be shining like a mirror. During this hour, whatever the king alters becomes authority. Whosoever only says will live to see the next year will surely live to see it.
People usually gather to receive blessings from the honey of Ife at that moment. The Ifa oral tradition reveals that the Hare crown is very heavy and it is believed that the Oni is spiritually empowered to wear it during the Olojo festival. The crown is so heavy for him to bear on any other day. It is believed that whenever the Oni puts on the mysterious crown, it is instantly transformed to its true nature which is Orisha deity whose visage has been said to be too dreadful to behold. History detects that the reigning Oni must not look into the crown because any attempt for him to do so would result to him joining his ancestors. The presence of the sacred crown symbolizes peace, unity, blessing and prosperity. It is believed to have been made from several items such as cutlass, and 149 other undisclosed objects. The sacred crown is kept in a separate room in the palace under the watchful eyes of the high priest while sacrifices are offered on a regular basis as tradition calls for it.